<laughs> some ear pods on. Yeah, you sleep. You sleep. <laughs> oh boy, he sure woke up with a smile on his face. See that on the ground? Crazy, huh? Yeah, that's snow. I guess by the look of this video right here, you guys know I'm not in Texas and I'm definitely not in Alaska. Absolutely not. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer and I'm back with another video. So man, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today, man. I'm good. I haven't been long woke up, as you can see, man. Got myself thoroughly dressed for the day. I had to dress for the weather because it is extremely cold out here, man. So, yo, man. I don't even know where to begin, man. You know, you know guys know like a couple of videos ago. Let me just back up. I'm, I'm gonna sit down for a minute. Oh, cool. So you guys know how I am when it comes to my kids, man. Y'all know when it comes to my kids, man. There's nothing that I won't do to be in my kids' life. You know, you got a lot of people out here who, who who don't even call their kids, don't even see their kids. And sometimes it's probably because of the kid's choice. The kids probably don't want to be bothered with the parent. That's just the world that we live in now. I mean, you turn on Judge Mathis, Jerry Springer, Judge Jerry, you got kids taking their moms to court, mom taking their kids to court, suing them. It's just pathetic. For me, I'm not one of those guys. I'm in all of my kids' lives. You know, um, you know, and with that being said, man, I'm the type of guy, you know, when something happens, I try to put myself in a position to make sure that everything balances out for everybody that's involved, or as the courts would say, all parties involved. You know, here it is, December. December 18th, 2020. The last two weeks of 2020, and we're going into a whole new year. This year will be left behind. Over with. By the way, yes guys, I am in a hotel. I'm in a hotel. This is my room. This is one of my favorite hotels I come to when I'm in Indiana. And yeah, this guy right here, yeah, he's on the hotel television, him. He's on the hotel television, him, my grandbaby. He on the hotel television. I can't get away from him, no matter what state I am, what city I'm in. Every time I turn the TV on, I gotta see him, Egghead. So, with that being said, as far as the year is coming to an end. It means that everything that happened this year is going to be a part of my memory bank for the rest of my life. It's going to be a part of my memory bank. And there is no freaking way I'm going to start my New Year's off not seeing my son Darian. My son, Damon, y'all know, Damon, Damon Prince from the Prince family, him. So they and tell me, my son cannot return to Houston ever again over a bet. My son can never turn to Houston again over a bet. Damon, are you serious, man? <clears throat> I done came to your house. Try to talk to you man to man to try to squash this off, to try to squash this out. 
try to squash this little beef. Darren's only 12 years old. You 28, going on 29. And you put me in a position, basically, where he pretty much said no, that he can't even come and spend the holidays with his dad. <clears throat> to me, that's messed up on every level. That's messed up on every level. And I pray to God that you're watching this. I mean, I pray to God that you see this. I mean, I really do. I pray to God that you see this video because I really don't even care. Because, you know, here it is. What time is it? See this? It's 1.16. Oh, I blurred up. It's 1.16 p.m. in the afternoon. And that's Indiana's time because we one hour. Indiana is one hour ahead. Meaning that if it's 12 o'clock in Houston, Texas or whatever, that means it's, if it's one o'clock there, it's two o'clock here. 12 o'clock there, one o'clock here, et cetera, et cetera. So, I'm just waking up at one something in the afternoon. Which means there's probably three hours of daylight left since it gets early now. Since it gets dark now early. I've been on the highway 18 freaking hours. 18 freaking hours. 18 hours on the highway. Put my life at risk. Y'all see this out here, don't you? That's real. This is from the balcony of my hotel room. The bedroom. This is the window. I'm sorry, not balcony. Look at them hills out there, man. Look at all this snow. This is real, man. This is real. And I had to come down here because I didn't want, not want my son, my minor son, my minor child to go a Christmas without his dad. You know how important it is, Damon, for a child to have their kids and their life on holidays like that? Any holidays, their birthdays, Christmas and stuff. But for you to put me in this position where I had to really put my own life at risk to drive down here, wasting money on gasoline, hotel rooms, unnecessary stuff. You know, yes, I could have took a flight down here to see Darian. I know people are like, well, you could have took a flight, Mr. Cryer. Here's the problem with that. Here's the problem for me with flying this time of year at the most busiest holiday of the entire year. I'm not getting on nobody's plane around Christmas time because I still believe in terrorist acts and there's no way I'm finna put myself on nobody's damn plane. Now I know people say, oh, you're superstitious. Hey, I'm from the old school. I'm supposed to be superstitious. So I just don't like to fly this type of year. I've seen too much in my days. I'm just gonna say that to where I'll wait till after the new year and then I'll start flying again by the grace of God if it's his will. So, so yeah, I end up putting myself at risk and getting on this highway, you know, and the weather's not too pretty, man. And so now I'm honestly, honestly thinking about, you know, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm honestly thinking about bringing my son back with me. I don't give a damn what he say. Meaning Damon, I don't give a damn what he say, man. I'm sorry for using that kind of language. It just really frustrates me, man, when I wake up and realize, you know, the stuff that I go through and the stuff that I do for people, man, and it's like, I feel like it's just a slap in the face for me. And this is a slap in the face for me because, you know, how is that gonna be fair to me? How is that gonna be fair to Darian? I'm gonna tell y'all it's gonna be fair. It's not gonna be fair. It's not going to be fair at all. It's just not gonna be fair. So I'm between a rock and a hard spot right now christmas is approaching extremely extremely fast and i'm making a decision right now do i want to just take my son with me today do i want to just take my son with me i don't give a dang what damon say do i just take my son because he deserves it i said in one of my last videos i said i'm gonna make somebody happy and somebody gonna be hurt and upset i can't please everybody man i'm only one freaking person
we'll see how this ish work out, man. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm very hungry. Like I said, I just woke up a little bit ago. And like I said, this dude right here, man, he's on the damn television at the hotel. But I'm going to see you guys in a minute, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to go get me something to eat real quick. I'm trying to find my way to the elevator, man. I'm not going to lie, man. It's like, people was asking me in my last video, they was like, Damien, how do you feel about the current situation with the bet as far as Darian and Damien? And, you know, like I said, man, I've always felt some type of way about it. You know, even though it was a bet, and they agree to it because that's what brothers do brothers bet each other bets for dumb shit you know what i'm saying sorry for my language they make dumb bets just like little girl sisters they make each other bets for dumb stuff but i feel some type of way about it because they made the bet not me i didn't make the bet at least i don't remember making the bet saying my son can't return to houston so people be wanting to know how that makes me feel and that's exactly how it makes me feel so i'm not gonna you know front like you know you know i'm okay with it because i'm definitely not okay with it i'm highly upset i'm going through the lobby y'all but yeah man this is the same when i stayed at that time i was here yep so i'm, I'm gonna find out what's going on here i'm gonna go out to my car because i gotta get something to eat <clears throat> i was loading my stuff up in my car um, I gotta let my car warm up. I was just sitting here like a lot of people really haven't really seen snow in real life so On the way down here I Looked on the news it said New York had got hit with like 44 inches of snow man So prayer for y'all out there in New York, you know hope that y'all being safe down there man driving careful But right here man, this is no joke. I want to just show you guys just this little clip real quick This is real snow man Look at this all on my LeBrons. Look at this. This is real snow. This is no joke. Where I live at now, it's like 80 something degrees, man. Nope, nope, nope. I'm capping. It's like 70 degrees in Texas. Look at all this salt on my car, man. It don't even look like my car anymore. Look at that. Yes, I drove the Batmobile. I always drive my car when I come down here because it's better for me on gas, too. The hell with a rental car. Look at this. Snow everywhere, man. This stuff is for real. This ain't no joke at all, man. All 100% snow. So this is this is this is nothing to play with. Whenever I come down to Indiana, this is um, I'm actually at one of me and Darian's favorite restaurants. Whenever I come to Indiana, um, it's called Great Wall of China. Thank you very much. Every time I come here, I mean, even when I lived in Indiana, I live literally just a few blocks away from this restaurant. Man, Darren used to come here every single weekend, man. And we used to get like our favorite. So I got a Coca-Cola, obviously. I got this whole fish, which is one of Darren's favorites. I got the mixed vegetables. It's like broccoli with beef in it. Uh, string beans. I got the mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I can never find these mushrooms in any other restaurant in here in Fort Wayne. And so like, like I said, this is one of my favorite restaurants. So. Let me see if I can set this camera down while I talk to you guys because, oh yeah, this is good. And I'm sorry for the angle, guys. I'm trying to work with what I got while I'm in this restaurant. But yeah, man, when I come here, I try to eat good and healthy because I know I have a long drive ahead of me back. And obviously, you guys know you can't eat with a face mask on. So I am removing it. But on this journey down here, only thing I was thinking about was Darian. Because I feel like he's the kid. He's the one who's going to really be hurt behind all this. You know, I'm, I'm hurting as well. But I'm a grown man, so I can handle it a lot better than a 12 year old. But it really sickens me 
as DJ and Kyrie. They done got used to their Uncle Darian. When I see them, they always like, Paul, Paul, when Uncle Darian coming over? And it really hurts me to know that they miss Darian too. And that's just really sad, man. I haven't seen Darian since I've been here. I got here at like six o'clock this morning. And I woke up at like one something and started this video. So it's probably close to two o'clock right now. So Darian is actually at school. The hotel, when I checked the hotel, the lady asked me how many days would I stand for? And I actually paid for four days. So I'm like, I'm gonna stay down here, spend my Christmas with my son, I'm gonna leave like the day before, or take him out and just spoil him. But you know what? I'm actually thinking about doing something a little bit different. I am. I'm seriously thinking about doing something different. Remember what I said earlier? I'm gonna piss somebody off. And I'm gonna make somebody happy. Some people are not gonna like the decisions that I'm about to make. <coughs> and all I'm gonna say is to my son Damon, you had your childhood. Good or bad. You had your childhood. And it's like, why can't he have his childhood? Why can't Darren have his childhood? You know? I'm just really aggravated. I mean, if you guys was in my shoes, y'all would be feeling the same way. I'm really starting to wonder if I should just take my son back with me. Not say I worry about it to nobody. Because at the end of the day, I don't owe nobody explanation for nothing I do. My son wanna come to Texas. What's to stop him? Nobody but God. Nobody can stop him from coming to Texas. Nobody but God, me and his mom. We make the decisions, you know? I don't know, man, but I'm really doing some thinking. A whole lot of thinking. Man, listen, I have been up all night long. My body is so, so, so freaking tired. But I ain't gonna lie, man. I told you I was going to Indiana to see my boys Bing. My younger son, Bing Bing, a.k.a. Darian. I told y'all I was not playing around. I missed my son. I was gonna spend Christmas with him no matter what. So before I tell y'all who we at, I'm gonna let y'all say what's up to Bing Bing. Hey, what's up, Bing? I got my hairy did. Yeah. You got your hairy did? Let me check it out. Oh, yeah. Who did your hair for you? My Your what? My beautiful mother. Your beautiful mother? Turn it down a little bit so I can hear you. You said, the doctor, who did your hair? No, I, I, I don't know how to do it. No, I, no, I said, who did it? My mother, my mother. Oh, he said his beautiful mother laid him out. That does look good, man. So, yeah, so I was telling the camera this morning, I was at my hotel and I was like, bang. I told the camera, I said, I'm, a, I'm you know, I was not gonna leave Houston and not gonna go see my son for Christmas because I'm like he can't come back to Texas ever again so I'm like I'm gonna go to Fort Wayne and spend Christmas with you but I feel like if I do that I'm gonna make you happy but I'm gonna piss somebody else off so I'm trying to find a way to divide myself to all of my kids now I asked your brother a week ago can Darian return to Houston he sat there and you know what he's over told me no. So you know where we at, guys? You know where we at? We're not in Indiana right now. We're not in Indiana at all. As a matter of fact, 
I'll drag this camera around real quick. Because I'm not playing no games, man. I'm not playing no games. Turn this camera around. I'm tired of playing with me. I'm tired of playing with me. I'm gonna find a landmark real quick. Man, it's raining so hard out here. It ain't even funny. It is raining. It's been raining for like, what, five hours now, man? Yeah. I'm trying to use like a good sign, good landmark. One of these signs. Humble Road. Okay, if I don't see one in the next minute, I'm just going to say it. There's a sign that says Belmont. I'm going to let one more sign go by. And I'm going to tell y'all exactly who we at. I'm not playing no more games, man. I'm sick and tired of playing. I'm not gonna keep fighting between my kids this and my kids that. Okay, there's a sign right there that says humble. So it ain't giving me enough details. So I'm gonna tell you guys exactly, exactly where we at. Oh, so we are in Houston, Texas. We just pulled up, me and Darian. So I decided this right here. Damon doesn't have to know that Darian is here. You know, I'm not gonna be hiding behind stuff. Coming out of closets and all that stuff. I'm just not gonna tell him my son is here. That way I'm gonna spend Christmas with my son, Darian, and I'll go over and spend Christmas with Damon and Bianca and DJ and Kyrie by myself. He ain't gotta know that Darian here because I'm not going to not let my son come to Texas based off of a bet. Now, I noticed the bet was fair and square. But this is Christmas time, man. I love all my kids. You love your dad? Of course you love your dad. You know what I'm saying? Talking about Darian caused all, all kind of drama when he was here last time. He caused, yeah. Darian caused all these problems in my family and my relationship. Don't get me wrong, I love, I love, I love my dad. Don't get me wrong, I love my dad, that's my big girl. I'm just, you know, the thing that really irked me, man, is like when I went over there and asked him, you know, I made him bratwurst, I made him fish. And I was like, man, listen, you know what's the holiday. Hey, hold on. So guys, listen. We have been on the road all night long. And we have 39 minutes left before we actually enter my house. We have been on the road 18 plus hours. I've been on the road close to 40 hours because I drove to Indiana and back. I was not playing around. Me personally, I'm gonna say this. I don't really give a darn which way this goes because Damon don't run me. I'm the dad. I'm the dad. I'm Darian's dad. I'm not gonna deprive him of spending holidays with his dad. You know what I'm saying, Bing? So we're gonna go home, unpack our stuff, and get us some rest. And we're gonna move about our day. Just like that. We're gonna move about our day. If somebody feels some type of way about it. That's on them completely. That has nothing to do with me and Bing. Because me and Bing, we in our own lane, right or wrong. We in our own lane. So I'm gonna see you guys in a minute, man. For real, for real. I wasn't playing. Y'all thought this was a joke. I told you, man. I don't care what no Damon Prince say. My son coming with me just to show y'all we ain't capping. Y'all see that sign? H-E-B. Now y'all know there ain't no H-E-B in Indiana. So we must be in Texas if that's an H-E-B sign. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Bing. What's going on, Bing? How you doing, Bing? Huh? Good. You looking all sleep and tired, man. What's up with that? You been on the road for a while, huh? So you finna uh, come grocery shopping with your pops? Hmm? Mm -hmm. You gonna teach me how to shop? Mm -hmm. Every time you come down here, you always do the grocery shopping, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? So what you trying to eat tonight? Some chicken wings, fish, or some pizza? Dominoes. Dominoes. 
What's up with kids and dominoes, man? Huh? It's kids in the seat. That's what? Kids in the car seat. So it's a car sitting there with kids in it, right? Oh, you better get smashed. She about to smash you up. Come on. Thank you. Anyway, we about to go on to HEB, guys. Darian, as I keep telling him, every time we come to Texas, pay attention to when you're walking across the parking lot because why, Darian? Why? Why do I tell you that? Because they don't care. Because they what? Don't care. Because they don't care. I tell them the same thing all the time. But sometimes he don't listen and he don't pay attention. Dang, that was the park, man. I tell them to pay attention because these people don't care. They will run your ass over, man. They sanitize. So, yo, we finna go in here now, man. Look at that, some Domino's pizza. You know what I'm saying? Some Domino's. He about to square off on this fish. How are you gonna square off on this fish, man? That's crazy. I dare you. I dare you. If this thing was to light my hand, it's no longer look, a look, I make a bet with you. I give you 20 bucks right now if you've been down. I give you 20 bucks right now if you've been down to this fish and just kiss his face right there. Just, mm. Oh, I know you ain't gonna do it. You bought that light? No, I'm not gonna kiss no disgusting coronavirus thing. So you said if it's got coronavirus? You never know this thing is alive. Yeah, but they, well, they got a cure for it now. They got cheap. Okay, would you kiss that carp right there? <laughs> no, that ain't an Asian carp. That's actually not a carp, that's a buffalo. The difference between a carp and a buffalo, one's yeah, darker. Is wondering how much this thing weighs is a buffalo? I'm telling you this. Is, yeah, is, buffalo is, hole. Is, is this a buffalo? Uh, no, look, believe it or not, these are actually whole tilapias. They look different in the bag, don't it? Because they filleted and skin. No, red snapper fish. What is this? That's, that's croaker or something. Snapper. Oh, no, that's a uh, drum. Sheephead. I got Johnny Appleseed. We always catch him and throw him back. That's that sheephead. This is a sheephead? No, nah, that's a trout. That's a... Uh, you know what? I don't know what the heck that is, to be honest with you. Salmon. Oh, that's a salmon. We, we gotta go. We gotta go. I'm, I'm not gonna get... I'm not gonna get big. Let's go. I can get big. Let's go. Yo, Benny said we gotta go. He ain't trying to get bit by that thing. Whatever the heck that thing is. So now... We are over. Now watch this boy. He's gonna try to bypass all the good stuff. Oh, he stopped, he stopped. He stopped. Let's see what he's gonna pick. Cause this is like this, man. When Ben comes to Texas, I let him do his own grocery shopping. Cause he obviously is not gonna eat what I eat. So I let him get his own stuff. And I pick my own stuff because I know what I like. He knows what he likes. Man, look at this size of this thing right here, man. How in the heck would you cook this? That's a steak. What the heck? What you? What is you doing? This boy sitting here. This boy sitting here trying to curl the grocery cart. Really? Come on, man. Come on, grab the cart. Obviously, you don't see nothing right here. You want? I know we need eggs and milk and stuff like that. So this is what we got so far, guys. We got both types of grapes. Got them green ones and them purple ones on deck. Got some tilapia, some shrimp. Got that, uh, what do you call that green thing? Cabbage. So come on. We got ground beef. We got chicken. We got, every, the freezer is packed. We need stuff like ice cream, eggs, and some chips and snacks and stuff, all right? Pop-tarts, no. Some Pop-tarts. No. Yeah, we can get Pop-tarts. I'm not eating that stuff. Uh, pizza rolls, I mean. Pizza rolls, oh lord. So let's go get pizza rolls. Cause we're in there, like I said, we don't need none of this stuff. The freezer is packed. I got caught slipping on that refrigerator. I got caught slipping on that refrigerator. Wow. So anyway, guys, this is another day, man. 
Mia is acting a fool, man. Goodness, what? She done had a bath today. She done been scrubbed with dog shampoo. I even trimmed up her hair. Not cut it, just took the scissors and just kind of like trimmed it just a little bit. But anyway, man, so a couple of days has went by, man, you know, and me personally, I still been thinking of like different ways, man, of how I want to do stuff because at the end of the day, I'm really, really tired of some things. I'm really, really frustrated with some things. I'm, you know, honestly, man, I'm just really, really tired of keeping my son in a closet because we in Texas. I mean, I took him to the store the other day. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as we walked in the store, we had like five people come up on us. And we had face masks on our face. I mean, our face was covered up from right here, from right here on down. Our faces was completely covered up. So it's like, they just called us right out. It was like, oh my God, Darian, Damien Cryer. So it was like, it was like, I really don't want nobody seeing Darian because I don't want nobody getting no stuff started. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, personally me, I don't want people getting stuff started when it comes to Darian being here in Houston and then be like, oh, Damien, guess what? But like, you know, like sending my son DMs like, oh, oh, Damien, guess what? Darian's in town, we seen him at HEB, this and that. Because the way I want to present it, it's the way I want to present it myself. I want to present it myself in a certain way where, where, you know what I'm saying? We can talk face to face, man to man. We ain't gotta be on this all, you know what I'm saying? You banned it from Houston, you ain't allowed to come back into the state. You know, because at the end of the day, I don't even think the mayor or the governor owns the state. You know who owns the state, man? God, God owns the state of Houston. And that's what I'm trying to say. So, you know what I'm saying? I be seeing people comments, they be like, forget what your son talking about. You the dad, you should be able to make the decisions. And you guys are absolutely right. And I am making the decisions. What you guys don't know, what you guys don't know is I've already made my decision. You know, um, I guess my other videos was basically just expressing about how I felt about a certain situation. I wasn't saying I wasn't gonna do this. I wasn't gonna do that. I was just basically saying how I felt about the situation, how I was going through like a state of depression because you know, it's a new year coming up, man. You know, God teaches us all to forgive. All of us to forgive. <laughs> She's trying to jump up and grab my camera. Is you serious? Hmm? Did you try to grab my camera, Mia? Why is you trying to grab my camera? Hmm? You trying to grab my camera? Why? Why are you trying to, look. Look, she's so fresh and so clean, clean. Now she all over me. She trying to ball out all over me. Why are you trying to ball out all over me, huh? Huh? Why are you trying to ball all over me, huh? Why are you trying to ball all over you trying to ball, you trying to ball all over me? You can't do that. You can't do that, man. You can't ball on me. Get down. Man, pop. I'm about to bust you up, man. Anyway, man, Mia, Mia won't even let me finish the video, man. So I'm finna great go in the crib. Because she hate on me. You ain't but the hate on your master. I feed you, I bathe you, I clothe you, I give you haircuts. What I do for you, I do for myself. I don't take you to the barber shop, but I do trim you up. So why is you hating on me, huh? Why is you hating on me? I'm trying to figure out why you hating on me. You can't tell me that, can you? Hmm? Hater. They is knocked out. Guys, look at the Christmas tree. We didn't get a chance to show you all the gifts that we put up under there. Look, they slept in the front room last night on the couch, guys. Look, they both. Ooh, look at my ride, Nick Cannon. I know you saw T. You know they, you know they probably not sleep. They probably faking. Ooh, I see some braids. Ooh, Ooh, oh, I see his braids back there. Where's the rest of him at? They probably faking like a mug. Look. It's Christmas. Y'all want to open up your gifts? Hello, you ain't. Mm, mm, mm. This one probably ain't sleep either. Let's check in with his little slick butt. With some ear pods on. He ain't sleep. You sleep. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, he sure will go with a smile on his face. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, guys. Next time I want y'all presents. We'll open it up. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all got some good stuff. You want us to open up your gift? No. I want your gift now. So was y'all really knocked out or what? No. Oh. oh. Hmm. I'm about to put my hand on. Oh. Hmm. 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 So what y'all gonna open? 
Probably ate y'all stay up last. Maybe late. Picking boxes up and trying to shake them. Nope. Mm-hmm. I bet. Y'all ready to open up? Oh, shoot. This boy about to knock me out. Darian Tyson. Good Lord. Let's see. Cam got this basketball thing. He got multiple... Oh, Mul multiple games in it. Universal, actually. What you got over there? Oh, that's what I got. Oh, I can't see it. I can't see it. Adidas. Oh, they so crispy. He don't even want to take them out the right. box, okay? <laughs> you can't even touch them with your fingerprints. So, how you feel being back in Texas, man? I feel really good. I'm happy that you snuck me in. Hopefully, he don't find out. Hopefully, he don't find out. We don't really care if you do find out or not, right? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm your dad, right? My father, at the end of the day, we all family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we all family, but you think that he'll understand that? Most definitely not. Ooh, boy, y'all heard that guy long. Hey, guys, I remember when Bing was here before, and if y'all remember, his braids were, like, sticking up. They were, like, that big. And that was only four months ago. They were only like that big. Now, when I take them to the barber shop, they have to actually lift his hair up to actually cut the sides. Shake it real quick. Boy, shake it. Do the real shake. <laughs> Stop playing with him. So let me ask you this. How you think your brother gonna feel when he do find out? He gonna be ready to fight you. You think he gonna be ready to fight you? But I don't understand why he'll be ready to fight me because you my son. He my son too. I think family's supposed to get along and just leave that mess to the side. I know, but he said I bet he said he said I bet is a bet though. Wait, but let me ask you this. Did he say you can ever never return to Houston again? Or you can never return to Texas again? He 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 ain't say neither of those. He, he said he said you can never return. Again, yeah. he ain't say about we can I can't never return back to Houston or Texas or whatever again. But if you think about this, even if he said you can never return to Houston again, but you never said that though. I never said that. And Texas, we could be anywhere in Texas. We can be in Austin, Texas. We can be any part. Texas is a huge state, one of the biggest states in the world. So. Never specifically said what part of Texas. Mm. So, anything you want to say to him? Because he's probably going to eventually see this one day. Let him know that you back and you don't really care what he say. Hey, man. Say, man. Smooth, Leo. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. He with I'm his back. dad. He with his dad. He's with his dad and we together. Uh, I just we together. Ain't nobody just, can do nothing about that. I just jam my finger and guess it's bad. You okay? We yeah. together. We are together. Yeah. Can anybody tell me who they care? So people I already know people are already said I mean you just alike. Of course they're gonna say that we look just alike. Of course. So guys, listen. I'm gonna end this video off. And I'm gonna go to sleep. Darren's gonna go to sleep. Yeah. And that's the way it is gonna be. So you we feel will. Me? Do you feel him? So we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Smooth, Smooth Boy, ring, ring, ring. Did you just mock me? Yeah. Or did you smack me? Smooth, Smooth, Hey. We out. Peace. Peace.